Mahasweta Devi, the 14th of January 1926 to the 28th of July 2016, was an Indian Bengali fiction writer and socio-political activist. Her notable literary works include Hajar Churashir Ma, Rudali, and Aranyar Adhikar. She was a self-recognized communist and worked for the rights and empowerment of the tribal people Loda and Shabar of West Bengal, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh states of India. She was honored with various literary awards such as the Sahitya Akademi Award in Bengali, Jnanpith Award and Ramon Magsaysay Award along with India's civilian awards Padma Shri and Padma Vibhushan. Early life. Mahasweta Devi was born in 1926 in Dekka, British India now Dhaka, Bangladesh. Her father, Manish Ghatak, was a well-known poet and novelist of the Kalal movement, who used the pseudonym Jubanashwa Bengali. Ghatak's brother was noted filmmaker Ritwik Ghatak. Devi's mother, Dharatri Devi, was also a writer and a social worker whose brothers were very distinguished in various fields, such as the noted sculptor Sankha Chaudhary and the founder-editor of Economic and Political Weekly of India, Sachin Chaudhary. Mahasweta Devi's first schooling was in Dhaka, Eden Montessori School 1930, but then she moved to West Bengal now in India. Then she studied in Midnapur Mission Girls High School 1935. After that she was admitted to Santinaketan (1936–1938). After that, she studied at Beltala Girls School (1939–1941), where she got her matric. Then in 1944 she got IA from Asatosh College. Then she joined the Rabindranath Tagore founded Visva Bharati University and completed a BA Hans in English, and then finished an MA in English at Calcutta University. Career Literary works Devi wrote over 100 novels and over 20 collections of short stories primarily written in Bengali but often translated to other languages. Her first novel, titled Jhansi Rani, based on a biography of the Rani of Jhansi was published in 1956. She had toured the Jhansi region to record information and folk songs from the local people for the novel. In 1964, she began teaching at Vijaygarh Jyotish Ray College, an affiliated college of the University of Calcutta system. In those days, Vijaygarh Jyotish Ray College was an institution for working class women students. During that period, she also worked as a journalist and as a creative writer. She studied the Lodas and Shabars, the tribal communities of West Bengal, women and Dalits. In her elaborate Bengali fiction, she often depicted the brutal oppression on the tribal people and untouchables by the powerful authoritarian upper caste landlords, money lenders, and venal government officials. She wrote of the source of her inspiration, I have always believed that the real history is made by ordinary people. I constantly come across the reappearance, in various forms, of folklore, ballads, myths and legends, carried by ordinary people across generations. The reason and inspiration for my writing are those people who are exploited and used, and yet do not accept defeat. For me, the endless source of ingredients for writing is in these amazingly noble, suffering human beings. Why should I look for my raw material elsewhere, once I have started knowing them? Sometimes it seems to me that my writing is really their doing. Postcolonial scholar Gayatri Chakravorty Spivak has translated Devi's short stories into English and published three books Imaginary Maps 1995, Routledge, Old Woman 1997, Seagull, The Breast Stories 1997, Seagull. <laughs> <laughs> Social activity Mahasweta Devi raised her voice several times against the discrimination suffered by tribal people in India. Devi's 1977 novel Aranyar Adhikar right to the Forest was about the life of Bursa Munda. And in June 2016, consequent to Devi's activism, the Jharkhand state government finally saw to the removal of the manacles from the figure of Munda, which had been part of the commemorative sculpture of the notable young tribal leader due to its having been based on a photograph dating from the era of British rule. Devi spearheaded the movement against the industrial policy of the earlier Communist Party of India Marxist government of West Bengal. 
Specifically, she stridently criticized confiscation from farmers of large tracts of fertile agricultural land by the government which then ceded it to industrial houses at throwaway prices. She supported the candidature of Mamata Banerjee in the 2011 West Bengal Legislative Assembly election which resulted in the end of the 34-year-long rule of CPIM. She had connected the policy to the commercialization of Santinaketan of Rabindranath Tagore, where she spent her formative years. Her lead in the Nandigram agitation resulted in a number of intellectuals, artists, writers and theatre workers joining together in protest of the controversial policy and particularly its implementation in Singur and Nandigram. She is known to have helped the noted writer Manaranhan Bhaipari to come into prominence as his initial writings were published in her journal and as prompted by her. At the Frankfurt Book Fair 2006, when India was the first country to be the fair's second-time guest nation, she made an impassioned inaugural speech wherein she moved the audience to tears with her lines taken from the famous film song, Mara Juda Hai Japani, by Raj Kapoor. This is truly the age where the Juda shu is Japani Japanese, Patloon pants is Inglistani British, the Topi hat is Rusi Russian, but the Dil. Dil heart is always Hindustani Indian. My country, torn, tattered, proud, beautiful, hot, humid, cold, sandy, shining India. My country. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. On the 27th of February in 1947, she married renowned playwright Bijan Bhattacharya, who was one of the founding fathers of the Indian People's Theatre Association movement. In 1948, she gave birth to Nabarun Bhattacharya, who became a novelist and political critic. She worked in a post office but was fired from there for her communist leaning. She went on to do various jobs, such as selling soaps and writing letters in English for illiterate people. In 1962, she married author Asit Gupta after divorcing Bhattacharya. In 1976, the relationship with Gupta ended. Topic death On 23 July 2016, Devi suffered a major heart attack and was admitted to Bellevue Clinic in Kolkata. Devi died of multiple organ failure on 28 July 2016, aged 90. She had suffered from diabetes, septicemia and urinary infection. On her death, Mamata Banerjee, chief minister of West Bengal tweeted, India has lost a great writer. Bengal has lost a glorious mother. I have lost a personal guide. Mahasweta D rest in peace. Prime Minister Narendra Modi tweeted, Mahashweta Devi wonderfully illustrated the might of the pen. A voice of compassion, equality and justice, she leaves us deeply saddened. Rip. Topic awards and recognition 1979 Sahitya Akademi Award Bengali Aranyar Adhikar Novel 1986 Padma Shri for Social Work 1996 Jnanpith Award the highest literary award from the Bharatiya Jnanpith 1997 Ramon Magsaysay Award, Award Journalism Literature and the Creative Communication Arts for Compassionate Crusade Through Art and Activism to Claim for Tribal Peoples a Just and Honorable Place in India's National Life 2003 Officiate de l'Ordre des Arts et des Lettres 2006, Padma Vibhushan, the second highest civilian award from the Government of India 2007, SAARC Literary Award 2009, shortlisted for the Man Booker International Prize 2010, Yashwantrao Chavan National Award 2011, Banga Bibhushan, the highest civilian award from the Government of West Bengal on 14 January 2018, Google honoured Mahasweta Devi on her 92nd birth anniversary, celebrating her work by creating a doodle on her. <inaudible> major works Devi's major works are as listed below. John Rani 1956, Biography. The Queen of Jhansi, by Mahasweta Devi translated by Sagari and Mandira Sengupta. This book is a reconstruction of the life of Rani Lakshmi Bai from extensive research of both historical documents collected mostly by G.C. Tamba, grandson of the Queen and folk tales, poetry and oral tradition. The original in Bengali was published in 1956, the English translation by Seagull Books, Calcutta, 2000, ISBN 8170461758, Bai, Rani Lakshmi Bai, 1974, novel. 
Aranyar Adhikar novel Agnagarbha 1978, short stories collection Murti 1979, short stories collection Nirit Mag 1979, short stories collection Stanyadayani 1980, short stories collection Chati Munda Evam Tar TIR 1980, short stories collection Topic. Film adaptations Sung Horsh 1968, Hindi film based on short story Laili Asmanar Aina Rudali 1993. Bayan Hindi 1993, a film based on short story directed by Gul Bihar Singh Hazar Chaurasi Ki Ma 1998. Mati Maay 2006, Marathi film based on short story Bayan Ganger 2010, Italian film based on short story Choli K. Pish Ullas Bengali film based on three short stories — Dor, Mahadu Ekti Rupkatha and Anna Aranya directed by Ishwar Chakraborty, released in 2012. 